What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode. Before I get started, I am parched. I need, I need something to drink. So one of the goals that I wanted to do for these videos was that I wanted to I wanted to use these videos as a platform to push my abilities, my skills, my creativity to be able to to use this so that I had a vehicle where I could do things that I enjoyed doing. Creating these is something that I enjoy doing, so that's why I do it. Um, <clears throat> in talking to a bunch of people, one of the ideas that I had that everyone seemed to generally like was that I wanted to do some sort of effect at the beginning of every video. Last week was the, uh, the Nightcrawler transition, um, and it was done with the app on the iPhone. This week it was a portal, uh, very similar to like a Doctor Strange portal. Next week, who knows? But um, I wanna touch on last week's video. Last week I talked about Google and why Google sucks and um, about their monetizing and whatnot and Literally a day after I uploaded the video, I got an email um, from Google, and I'm gonna read that email, or at least the general gist of that email. Thank you for your appeal. We appreciate your continued interest in the AdSense program. However, after thoroughly reviewing your account and taking into consideration the information that you have provided, our specialist has confirmed that you are unable to reinstate your AdSense account. So basically, I got denied, again. For some reason, they feel that something that happened 12 years ago, um, not even at my hands, at other people's hands, they feel that that warrants being banned for life on the AdSense account, which that's their right. They are a private business. I mean, they're public business, but they're, they're their own entity and uh, they can run their entity however they see fit. And if they feel like that's what they have to do, then, you know, so be it. It is what it is. At least you guys know that my videos are going up and they're not going up with the intention of, how do I make money from this? They're going up because I genuinely love doing this. With that, let's get into this week's video. This week's video, we're gonna talk about storytelling. And uh, I've been wanting to do it and I've been trying to hash out a bunch of ideas and I'm gonna try to make this as short and concise as possible because I think a lot of people really get hung up in the details. I don't think all of this matters. I think it helps and I think at the end of the day, its sole purpose is to help get the point of the story across that it doesn't matter if I have all of these lights, none of these lights, or if I have this audio, or that audio, it doesn't matter. So the way I look at it is story is absolute king. And the most popular way of storytelling is with a three act narrative. And that's setup, a conflict, and a resolution. Most people have this happen to them um, on a fairly regular basis. There's another YouTuber that uh, uses a similar narrative. And the example he gave was uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. That is the setup. Jack fell down and broke his crown. That's the conflict. Jill came tumbling after is the resolution. I think that's very simplistic. Um, I look at things like Captain America. They're generally more uh, in tune with 
today's audience. And more people, I think, are likely to make the connection between that than the three-act narrative in Jack and Jill. The setup is Steve Rogers wanting to be in the army, wanting nothing more than to be in the army and defend his country. The conflict is that he's just not big enough. He's too small. And then once he becomes a super soldier, he's looked at as a joke. The resolution is him actually saving everyone and becoming a hero. That's storytelling in a nutshell. So storytelling can be as simple as a few lines. You can get a whole three act narrative in those four lines, or it can be a three hour movie. You take something like Infinity War or Endgame that those two movies together can form that narrative, but they can also form their narrative on their own. So the goal in these videos is to be able to tell a story. And I know a lot of people, over the years, a lot of people have turned from handheld vlogging to tripod shots to other stuff, but I kind of want to do a mix of both. And I know I haven't been doing a lot of handheld stuff and I haven't really been changing scenery other than this, but we are in the middle of a shelter in place and a shutdown, so it's kind of, you know, it is what it is. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short. I apologize if you wanted longer, but it is what it is. Take it for what it's worth. I will catch you guys on the flip side though. Be sure to like this, subscribe, comment, do whatever you guys want to do because I am all about free will and I am all about personal freedoms. So you choose what you want to do. I know next week I'll be back for another video. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thank <laughs> you.